right, so this is a little awkward, but I just realized I never fully introduced myself properly. So hi, I'm Lily. People describe me in a lot of ways. You know, entertainer, person with X amount of followers, actress, loud woman who uses her hands a lot when she talks. But at the heart of all of it, what I really am is a storyteller. Yep. I, yeah, shout out storytelling, right? That's right. It's because I love stories. And I believe that we understand ourselves and the world through stories. After all, most of what you know is a story. You know, culture is a story that's been passed down. Every expectation we have is a story we've been told. But what you believe you can or cannot do, it's just a story. Storytelling is a power and a commodity that we don't recognize or talk about enough, which is why I started my nonprofit, Unicorn Island Fund. Now, I envisioned a magical place where storytelling changed hearts and minds by challenging the norm, especially when it comes to gender equality. Because for far too many girls and women around the world, their stories start with shame. Now, for starters, it's shameful to give birth to a daughter. It's shameful not to have a son. If you're anything like me, you were assigned female at birth, and that was already an immediate disappointment. And that's just the first instance of shame, because from then on, it's a journey filled with milestones of shame. You know, we're taught that it's shameful to speak up, to be loud, to wear certain clothes, to get our periods, to talk about our bodies, to ask for help, to ask for money, to have our own economic power, to get married too old or have kids too young, to hope, to dream, to live a life we want to live. And see, the thing about shame is it gets its power by encouraging us to never talk about it. We're ashamed to talk about shame. And I know that every single one of you here has felt shame, and so have I. And I, I just think it's time we open up the conversation and take power away from shame. I'll start. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get real right now. Can I get real, is that okay? Okay, I'm gonna get real, because we're taking power away from shame here. This is a real true story. When I was growing up, all of my Indian aunties called my vagina my shame shame. That is a real thing. I see lots of people nodding, which means we all have similar trauma, shout outs. As a result, even as a full adult, I struggle to talk about my body. And here I am thinking, how can I have agency over it if I don't know what the worth of my body is? Let's just say my therapist makes a lot of money. Okay. Shame is a weapon. And I've come to understand that we will never be able to eradicate gender inequality in this world unless we first dismantle the shame that supports and promotes it. We have a lot of work to do at Unicorn Island Fund. Insert segue here. We also have a lot of work to do on maternal health. Nailed it. <laughs> it's the topic of our next session, led by a woman who is literally on my vision board. That's right. Tell me you're a millennial without telling me you're a millennial. I'm talking about the one, the only, the iconic Melinda French Gates, and it's hosted by CNN correspondent Abby Phillip. We'll hear about how maternal health impacts women's lives. During the sessions to come, there'll be stories of hope and inspiration, but there are some stories specifically about newborn and maternal health that involve loss. So if for any reason this triggers any negative emotions, we want you to feel free to take a moment if you need one. First, here's a short film that underscores how deeply personal and urgent this issue is for women across the world. 